I admit, lots of times I reach for a can of beans as opposed to dried beans. These are pretty much rinse and go. These take a little more work, but these are actually cheaper than these, even when these are not super expensive. With dried beans, there's a couple things you have to do. One, of course, is the soaking or not soak, and then cooking takes a while. But once you do it a few times, it's not difficult. It's just a matter of preparing yourself to do it. But one thing we need to do is sort the beans. It doesn't take long. It just takes you a couple minutes. So today, I'm going to show you how to sort beans and tell you why you need to sort them. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, and resources to make your gluten-free lifestyle easier. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. So guys, here are a couple bags of beans. I have one that's been opened that I used half of it for a while back. I've got another full bag here that's not even opened yet. So I'm gonna sort these pinto beans in just a minute and show you how easy it is. But the reason we wanna sort the beans is because if you look at them, they're the size of little rocks. They're grown out in the field, then they're harvested. And when we're sorting the beans out, we wanna make sure we're pulling out anything that doesn't look right. Any rocks or clumps of dirt or a twig that may be in there because it's all they're all small. So I just like to put my beans out on a cookie sheet and run through them really quick to pull out any rocks or twigs or bad beans. So get your cookie sheet and dump out the amount of beans you use. If you're doing a whole pound, dump the whole thing on here. It just takes a minute to sort through it all and then you can rinse them off good and move on with the recipe. So once your beans are spread out onto your cookie sheet, spread them out and try to get them in a single layer so you can look over everything. And as I go through these, I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys as much as I can to make sure you can see what I'm looking for. So as I look over this, I don't see anything that is not a bean. I don't see any rocks, I don't see any dirt, I don't see any twigs, although that would be a super small twig if it was in here. So I think we're good with that. Now I'm looking for bad beans. And what I mean by bad beans is that beans that just don't look right. So here are some examples of what you're looking for on this tray. You wanna look and see and make sure the beans are plump. So if you look at these, they're pretty smooth. There's no blemishes. They're speckled because they're pinto beans. But we wanna make sure that there's no shriveled beans. We wanna make sure there's no beans that may have a big hole in them that could be from an insect or a bug. We wanna make sure that there are no split beans unless they're supposed to be, like split peas. Um, we wanna make sure that they're whole beans and they're not cracked and broken. We wanna make sure there's no weird dark spots on any of them or that they have loose skins. So I can see right here that that is not even a pinto bean that was in there. So I have no idea why that's in there. It looks like a navy bean. So I'll probably just put that off to the side. I also have little bits like this that are pieces of beans. So I usually pull all of that stuff out of there. There's a fully broken bean. I take that out of there. This one is shriveled. That one's gone. And really in looking at it, there's probably, that's about it in this half pound of beans. I don't really see a whole lot. Oh, there's another cracked one. And all I'm gonna do is look over this for about a minute, minute and a half, if that. Pull out anything odd. There's one that looks like it has some mold on it. We don't wanna cook that one. And then once you've gone through these, give them a good rinse and they're ready to move forward with your recipe. It only takes a minute. You're gonna make sure you don't have anything weird in it as far as the mold or the broken ones. They'll cook up better for you and you'll get a great recipe from it. Guys, thanks for watching. 
Please leave any comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and I hope to see you on the next one.